Hello everyone. Welcome to the GUF classroom. Let's talk about it today. After the FC is repaired or disassembled. Points to note when taking off for the first time. Why should we emphasize the first takeoff? Because according to recent feedback from our technical support, the FC took off for the first time after maintenance due to debugging problem. There are still a lot of bombers. Let me briefly summarize some things to pay attention to when taking off for the first time. E. Installation direction of master control and GPS. Both master control and GPS have direction. The installation direction should be the same as the direction of the assistant software. The first one is the master. There are arrows. The direction of the arrow is the front of the plane. The second one is GPS. GPS also has arrows. It also points to the front of the plane. The third one is our assistant software. There are ARMU heading and GPS heading. The IMU heading here refers to the main control direction. The direction of the master control and GPS are both straightforward by default. If there are directions, the installation is inconsistent. It needs to be set in the same direction as the actual installation direction. Flight control and GPS. The installation direction on the FC is inconsistent. After the plane takes off, it will blow up. The user removed the GPS and reinstalled for some reason not installed in the original orientation, also did not reset the new GPS installation direction. It caused the plane to explode after taking off. Let's look at an installation. Installation of this picture. GPS is forward. The master is facing left. We need to in the corresponding debugging software, set the direction of IMU to the left. GPS is forward. If you fly by default, the plane will explode directly after taking off. So, Pay special attention to the main control in GPS installation direction. Second, remote control calibration. The remote controller and main control must be replaced when repairing the FC. Need to recalibrate the remote control. If the remote control is not calibrated, there may be a problem that cannot be unlocked. Calibration of the third IMU. IMU calibration refers to aircraft level calibration. If there is a problem with the level of accuracy, Light FC will tilt after takeoff. More serious FC will directly explode. So after the FC is repaired, the IMU needs to be recalibrated to ensure that the FC's SIMU calibration is normal. Fourth compass calibration. First, it is okay if the lateral RTK is installed without calibration. If RTK is not installed, then you need to calibrate the compass. Calibrating the compass is to adapt the compass to what you want. The environment of the flying place. Flying will be safer. Fifth, confirm the order of the motors and the steering of the propeller. Confirm the order of the motors according to the model of the FC. Take the four axis X type as an example. The upper right corner of the nose is the number E motor. Counterclockwise is R. Sun, S motors, propeller steering, E. Sun counterclockwise rotation of the propeller uses S motors. Quiz used for rotating the propeller clockwise. The above is sorted out based on some user feedback regarding the problems that are likely to occur for the first takeoff after the maintenance of the FC. Thank you all.